Okay, so I'm just coming in with my Ilamasca Liquid Foundation SB02 and SB08 mixed together. Um, I always like to go a little bit paler just because when I add my contour it tends to go a little bit too dark if I go my exact skin colour. Coming in with a beauty blender now just to get rid of any of the brush lines and make it a more even skin tone. And blending down underneath my jawline and onto my neck. Okay, so now I'm contouring. I'm coming in with Cryolan and a really dark brown. And I'm just going under my cheekbones, around my forehead, down the sides of my nose and just under each side of my jawline. And coming in with a crown brush, it's a little buffing brush and blending upwards towards my eyes. Don't blend downwards because it kind of makes your face look saggy and I don't think anyone ever aims for their face to be saggy. Coming in with the Beauty Blender again just to blend out the lines and make the colour gradually go into it each. You know what I'm trying to say. Blend that shit out. And adding a bit more of light foundation just as a highlight because I don't actually have any highlight left at the moment. Blendy, blendy, blending. Okay, now using Australia's translucent powder just to come in and set my eyes so there's no creasing. Using a smaller brush for that, and then coming in with a massive brush and disappearing into a cloud of smoke again. Now to do my eyebrows, I'm just brushing through all the hair up and backwards and I'm coming in with It Girl, uh, it's a builder brow in the shade Blonde and I start at the end so that my brush has the most product on and then as I get to the centre of my brows it's very light so there's a really nice gradual effect of the colour. And then just brushing it through with a empty clean. Empty clean mascara wand. And doing the same on the other side. Now coming in with a six colour press foundation from Crown Brushes. And I'm just using a sort of medium shade to just go over my contour a bit because it's sort of faded a little bit too much. And now using Becca in the shade Moonstone for a highlight and illuminizer. Using fan brush just on the tops of my cheekbones, on my brow bone, and just past my eyebrow. Down the yeah, down my nose as well, and on the top of my lip. You can pretty much drown yourself in illuminizer. You can never have enough. Now using the Naked 3 palette and I'm coming in with Strange as my base colour all over my eyelid. I like to start with base colour because it makes the other eyeshadow a lot easier to blend. And now I'm coming in with a smaller blending brush using the colour Nuna. And that's going to be the start of my eyeshadow party thing. Anyway, making a small C on the outside edge of my eye, so from my crease and then joining down to the cor outer corner of my eye and blending it across along my socket. And then I'm bringing it underneath the lower lash line, nearly all the way across but not quite, and joining it up to the top of the C.
Now using dust as the highlight part of my eyeshadow. So just coming in just on the lash lid and nowhere else. And now I'm using the Sephora palette and just a silver eyeshadow and I've wet my brush a little bit just to make sure it really sticks to my eye and is really bright and shiny. And then just blending the socket line just to make sure that none of the colours transferred onto the rest of the eye. Now using another crown palette and I'm using a dark purple colour just to go over my C shape on my eye again just to make it a bit darker and make my eyes pop a little bit more. Now just adding a bit of highlight to the inner corner of my eyes, it just makes them look wider and makes your eyes really, really stand out. Now to supply mascara, you can use any brand mascara, I think it's all much of a muchness in my eyes. Now putting fake eyelashes on, I use Just Lashes from Kmart, they're $6 a packet and they're awesome, I love them, they're great, wouldn't use anything else ever, even if there's a fire. Here we see the young makeup artist realising the struggle of trying to blend black eyeshadow over the eyelashes for the first time. So I'm just blending that in across the line of my eye and making a base for where I'm going to apply my liquid eyeliner. It's harder than it looks, believe it or not. And I'm just bringing that under the lower lash line again just to make the eye pop. And now we're using our liquid eyeliner just to create a very, very thin line and a small wing at the end. Just adding some highlight to my brow bone area uh, in Moonstone in the brand Becca. Now coming in with a blush palette and I'm just using a pinky kind of brush and just going to apply that on top of my contour and blend up towards the outskirts of my face land. If you apply it too heavy, come in with your translucent powder brush and just blend it out. Now I'm using a nude lip liner, I'm not sure what brand it is, um, but you can use any kind of nude lip liner, just apply all over your lips and colour them in a little bit. using a nude coloured lipstick. Uh, it's got a little bit of a pinky tinge to it because you don't want it to be too bland. Just applying that all over the lip. And now I'm applying a crown lip gloss over the top in shade Sexy. Now 
I'm using Urban Decay Setting Spray all over my face. It really helps to get your makeup on and it doesn't budge once you've put it on there. And that's the finished look. Thanks for watching and now watch me put, pose awkwardly and be really weird. Bye!